previewing the nominees for the Santa Clarita Man and Woman of the Year 2019. And we are doing this all day today, uh, recognizing those who have done such great work in our community. The uh, Santa Clarita Valley Man and Woman of the Year recognition is to honor those men and women who have given outstanding volunteer service to the Santa Clarita Valley area. The dinner, the 53rd annual premier volunteer recognition event is Friday, May 3rd, 6 p.m. at the Hyatt Valencia. In studio right now is Brian Kegley. So first of all, congratulations to you, Brian, and thank you for being here today. Well, thank you, Tori. Really appreciate it. You are a two-time nominee from C- uh, the SCV Senior Center and Hands on Santa Clarita, Kevin McDonald uh, from Senior Center and Seema Shaw? That's correct. Seema Shaw? That's right. Hands on Santa Clarita. Uh, Thought you were deserving of these nominations. Let's talk about Brian Kegley. How long have you been here in the SCV? Uh, This is now 36 years for me. I've been here a long time. Not a a complete lifer. I wasn't born here. I was born in the great state of Ohio, but moved here when I was uh, nine years old. And I grew up out here, local elementary, junior high, high school, College of the Canyons, go Cougars. Well, I was going to say, what, what what high school? Saugus High School, class Saugus, of 92. Saugus High. Uh, why? <laughs> we are streaming. Got- By the way, we are streaming live on Facebook. And the reason we're uh, giggling is because uh, Brian just gave the thumbs up to uh, his, his peeps at high school and college. Um, why exactly were you nominated for these uh, for these honors? Do you know? Couldn't tell you, Tori. (laughs) You know, listen, I'm very blessed to work with a number of nonprofits in this community. Uh, The Senior Center was one of my nominations this year. I have had the blessing of being able to work with them on their Celebrity Waiter Dinner. This is now my ninth year working Celebrity Waiter, my second as the MC of the event. Had a fantastic event in February, one of the best events in all of Santa Clarita. Um, And so they recognized me for my contributions for that. On the flip side, hands-on Santa Clarita, I worked on that board for 14 years. I was board president for five of those years. Um, And we've been doing a whole lot of great things in this community, including making sure we get volunteers out for all of the big events. Uh, We also run the court-referred community service program through our local courthouse. So for those individuals who are unable to pay their fines, they're able to do community service in the area where they did their infractions. You said that so eloquently. I'm a lawyer. I'm I'm paid to speak eloquently. (laughs) What led you to doing these, you know, getting involved with these uh, two particular uh, organizations? Well, you know what? I mean, community service, I think, is an essential backbone of this community. I grew up here. I live here. I work here. Um, To me, it's, it's not... It's not obligatory, but it's certainly part and parcel for what we should do as community members. These two organizations are very near and dear to my heart personally. Um, I, I love what our seniors have done for our, our community, and they've been the backbone of our community for years, and now we get to pay it forward to them with a brand-new senior center that's opening up next month in April. Uh, it's going to be absolutely spectacular, Troy. I hope everybody gets a chance to get out there and see it. And then volunteerism is obviously the key to making sure that all of our nonprofits are successful out here. So hands-on is basically the coordinating effort and the coordinating factor for making sure that we have the volunteers who are active in our community doing the service that is needed by the nonprofits. Why are these two organizations near and dear to your heart? Why did you pick these? Well, I mean, I've been volunteering since I was 14 years old. So, And that says, that says a lot. Let me interrupt you for a second. That says a lot about how you were raised. There aren't a lot of 14-year-olds. I know I didn't volunteer at 14 years old. Um, I went home after school and watched TV. Uh, So what at 14 years old, why did you do that? Uh, I was brought up to believe that you always give more than you get. And in this community, I've I've received so, so very much. I mean, my beyond my wildest imagination. So I don't think that there's any way that I could ever give what I have received back. But I'm sure as heck going to try. You're trying. What would you say to someone who is listening to you right now and is inspired by your words and said, you know what, I want to get involved in a nonprofit, maybe senior center or hands on. What would you say to that person? Absolutely. Get on it right now. Bodies are needed. People are needed. Time is needed. This isn't just the old school time, talent, and treasure. If you've got the ability to come out and help out one of these organizations, even if it's for a day, every little bit goes a long way in this community. So get up, get active, and go out and volunteer for whatever your cause du jour is. Brian Kegley.
Thank you so much, Tori. I'm so proud that I said it right like four times. You, you were awesome. It's not spelled the way it, it's not said the way it's spelled. No, it's and not. And I'm so proud of myself. Can I be proud? You, you may. Brian, <laughs> Brian Kegley, congratulations on your nominations. Good luck to you. And uh, are you ready for the big dinner? I'm so ready for the big dinner. Got a good suit? I've got a great suit. Fantastic. <laughs> great having you here and, and good luck to you. Thanks, Tori. Your building sign is essential.